but resources were often limited. Meanwhile, the long and complicated process of decontaminating the affected areas had begun. Entire villages were abandoned with buildings demolished and soil removed in an attempt to reduce radiation levels. In some cases, entire forests were bulldozed and buried because the trees had absorbed dangerous amounts of radiation. The exclusion zone, covering thousands of square miles around the plant, became a permanent no-go area with only a few elderly residents choosing to return despite the risks. Wildlife in the exclusion uh, zone also faced major consequences. Many animals showed signs of genetic mutations, while others, including birds and large mammals, struggled to survive in the altered environment. Over time, however, something un uh, unexpected happened. Nature began to reclaim the abandoned land. With no human interference, populations of wolves, bears, and other wildlife started to thrive, creating a strange paradox 